Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Emily and this is Heavenly Host Vision Lady. I'm so glad to welcome you again to yet another prophetic word. The Almighty God bless and keep you safe, sound and protected. Guys, the Lord is promising us freedom. Freedom, guys. No more yoke of slavery, but freedom. All right, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. Welcome you here now. Oh God, glorify your name. Yahuwah, you are faithful. Gracious God is no one like you. You're the omnipotent Messiah's God. We give you praise for your son. Yahusha, Mashiach, hallelujah. So the Lord is promising us uh, freedom, okay? Freedom from slavery. Freedom from all yokes. Freedom from bondages. Freedom from chains. Freedom from stagnation. Freedom from difficulties. Freedom to express. Freedom to understand. Freedom to live at peace. Freedom to understand. Freedom to live at peace in the land, beloved. You know, we're all born free, but have lived all our lives in chains. But Lord is saying that those chains, those chains are falling off now. Chains are falling off now. In the name of our Lord Christ Jesus, you shall have freedom to walk in liberty. Psalms 119 verse 45. You shall have freedom to walk in confidence. Ephesians 3 verse 13. Freedom to serve one another. Hallelujah. Galatians 5 verse 13 to 14. Hallelujah. Galatians 5 verse 13 to 14. For you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not turn your freedom into, a, into an opportunity for the flesh, but, the, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled by one by one word in the statement, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, beloved, you have been given freedom to serve, not to oppress others. You have been given freedom to be happy, to collaborate, not to separate ourselves or being harmful towards one another, not using our freedom as a way to, to, to bring corruption, not to use our freedom in a negative way, beloved. You know, sometimes freedom, usually people, people misuse freedom. When they have been granted freedom, they misuse freedom. They use freedom to oppress others. Lord, is not as, as he has granted you freedom this moment. You do not use freedom to oppress others, but you shall use freedom to serve one another and loving your neighbor as yourself. Loving your neighbor as yourself, does this mean? It means being of service. It means being in one accord, in understanding, in harmony, in grace. In forgiveness, living in righteousness, having everything being put in order with respect and honor, esteeming one another, appreciating one another. That's how we live in freedom. And the devil doesn't like this kind of thing. Beloved, those chains are falling right now. You are coming into freedom. You are free now from bondage. You are free now from those yokes. You are free from stagnation. You are free from difficulties. You are free from those setbacks. Freedom is here for you. Freedom is here for you. In the name of our Lord Christ, Yahusha, freedom is here for you. Thank you for listening. I have been Lady. See you in the next video. Yes, you're walking now in freedom. No longer, no longer yoke of slavery in your life. Freedom is here for you. In the name of our Lord Christ, Yahusha. Thank you for listening. I have been Lady. See you in the next video.